Right, what have I got today? Well, it is a huge bush today, so I'll listen to this wallop. In fact, it's so big, it barely fits in the camera there. That just kind of fits. This is the brand new charger from Xtor. Now, um, I'll, I'll, before I actually show you this, I'll do a quick history lesson. So, ages and ages and ages ago, they had the VC8, which was eight, which was like an 8 bay charger. And then they brought out the Plus, which was a little bit better, more capable, slightly higher charging rate. Although, in order to get some of them, you had to use charging channel. I think it was 1 and 8. Yeah, I think it says there, if you, can, if you can have a little look there. You know, max amps there. So you had to use those ones to get the max amps, and the rest were slightly lower. But you could still do 8 cells at, at once. And I really like this. I still use this. This is why it's covered in dust. I still use this to this day. So there was that one. And then they brought out eventually, now I wasn't allowed to show you this due to an NDA, um, but this is a prototype, that's why you have little blocked off covers and things. This is a prototype of the VC8S. And I, 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 never, ever, uh, so I never mentioned this by name or told people it existed, but I did say that they were working on a new one in comment sections for the previous charger. So yes, I have been testing this for a long period of time. I've gone backwards and forwards with XTAR with different suggestions, especially on um, adapters and things like that because they, did, they weren't sure whether to have a type C or type C with an adapter because back in the day they had like adapters and things and then I said well well we'll discuss that anyway so I just want to give you that quick history lesson so I've been using the prototype for nearly a year now and it's spot on great so this is the production unit so get them out of the way here's the production unit nice box so it says here smart battery charger brilliant extra form factor and function is almost identical Although I want to draw your attention to these. So all eight slots will do the capacity test. On some, you could only grade on certain ones. You could only get internal resistance on some. So that function, I, I, I thought, what was the point of that when you want to do a load of cells? So at least on this one, you can do a capacity test on all eight slots, not just specific ones. All eight slots will do the proper storage voltage. Now, I'll discuss that when I show you the function, but basically what that does is it, it either brings your voltage of a lithium ion cell up or down to a predetermined best case scenario voltage for long term storage and life, lifetime of the cell basically, but we'll go over that. You can also do the internal resistance test of all eight slots, which is brilliant. Um, I, I think there is a slight proviso in the manual, if I remember off the top of my head, that if you are doing a nickel metal hydride, you should only do that when they are fully charged because the resistance will change slightly depending on the level of charge. So just bear that in mind, there's a little proviso for you. And it is smarty speed, in other words, it'll go up to three amps. However, you need to make sure that the cable you're using uh, there's, there's certain provisors, but we'll go over them. So it says know your batteries instead of know your limits. So there you go, and there's the the back of it there. So as it says there, it's lithium ion, and it will do nickel metal hydride as well. Brilliant. Okay, so let's get this opened. Now I have obviously tested this. I've tested this for a couple of weeks now. Boosh, get rid of that, and I'll take this out. I've put things back how they were. So that's what you get, and uh, you get that as well. Right. So can you remember, straight off, before we even look at the charger, can you remember I said, like, well, I'll, I'll, I'll not tell you exactly what I said to uh, XTAR because we went back and forth a few times. So what I said to them was, I said, it's all very well trying to get rid of adapters. But the problem is when you say to people, right, this is type C, to a flashlight nerd, we know what that can mean um, many different things. There are different versions of power delivery, for example, and different outputs from type C sockets. So even if you have a type C socket, it can output a completely different wattage to what is required. Therefore, what I said to them was, I said, rather than having a, an adapter and this, just have this, but make sure you, you have at least a 45 watt adapter in the box. And that's exactly what they've done. And I'll show you that, it should say on here. There you go, so the, here's the specs there. So this one will output, we'll go over it here. So five volts at three amps, nine volts at three amps, 12 volts at three amps, 15 volts at three amps, 20 volts at 2.5. So that's when you get that slight drop in amps, but obviously it's at 20 volts there. So with a maximum overall of 45 watts. So if you're, if you're gonna use your own, make sure that it is power delivery three compatible and it has at least 45 watts. But you do get this in the box, which I think is very important because like I say, Giving someone a Type C cable can mean so many different things. They can plug it into the wrong thing, and you're not going to get the charging rates that they are seeing on the box. 
it's not that they're being dishonest, it's just that unfortunately Type-C can mean so many different things, which is very annoying. This just happens to be the UK version, so I'll take that off. So if you are American, which most of my viewers are, there you go. You've got a normal plug for the Americans there. And if you are like us weirdos over here in the UK, you can go boom and stick that on. And you can have a little cheeky extra earth, although if you notice, that's plastic. So that, that, it, that isn't going to earth anything, but never mind. It's there. Okay, so let me get this plugged in. I do have another cable over here this happens to be, I'm just using an anchor type C here I know this is coming from a decent source okay so here is the cable that it comes with and I have tested it yes yes it works it's nice it's decent it's a type C to type C no problems with the with the quality of this very happy with it it's nice and thick and it certainly did 45 watts no problem it didn't go you know soft and hard or, or funny or hot or anything like that no problems Okay, so let's talk about what it is you're actually getting here. I'm not going to go through the whole manual because I want to try and keep this quite rapid because my reviews are silly length at the moment. Okay, so VC8 and it's the S. So if you're going to look for this, make sure it is the one with the S on because you, you do get the normal and the plus and all things like that. Um, although they're, they're all 8 bay, but if you notice, this one has no little signifiers saying this is the only one that does 3 amp, this is the only one that does 3 amp. No longer do you have to use channel 1 and channel 8 to get that. All, a -B all 8 bays will do that. So I'm really, really happy about that and I'm glad that they've done that. And this charger does support through, through the Type-C. Obviously, it's Quick Charge 3 compatible and Power Delivery version 3, so up to version 3. So plenty of amps there. So all of them can do 3 amps, but the, the next question I'm going to get in the comments section is, OK, so can I do every single one at 3 amps? Well, bear in mind... What you've got coming from here, that's just not possible, is it? Think about it. So in that regard, no, unfortunately, you can't do that. So if you want to do multiple ones, you could do two of them at three amps. It can be any of, the, any of the slots here, no problem. Any of them, so two at once will do three amps. You can do four cells at once at, uh, sorry, uh, two at three amps, that's it, four at two amps. And then all eight will be, well, it'll have to be one amp, won't it? So if you, if you do the mathematics, so you can get one amp for all of them which I think is pretty good, especially on most cells these days. I think that's reasonable, especially for an 8 bay charger, which is pretty good. It will do nickel metal hydride, and it'll do those in the double A, which I have here. There's some double A's, uh, just to show you that the fit. I mean, you know, you know I'm not going to lie to you here. I'm quite an honest reviewer, so they do work, the nickel metal hydrides. And it does come up here, so there you've got there, 1.3 volts, hasn't started yet, and then you see nickel metal hydride on the bottom left, and then it's charging at 120 milliamps there. See it flashing? And the, the cell segments are going to the right. You'll only ever see them go to the left when you're using a grading function, but I'll show you that in a moment. So once that reaches about 142, I think it is off the top of my head, um, I think these reach, or 145 depending, it will finish. So we'll just leave that running for a laugh. If you did want to change the, turn the screen off, you can do that with a long press on current. Just if you wanted to do that. And in that regard, when something's been running for a period of time, after about 60 seconds, it drops to a low light level. So this will probably do the same. If you, if you think, hang on, that's gone a little bit less. Is there something wrong with it? No, that's that's one of the features. So we'll do those. It'll also do the triple A's, which are slightly smaller. So again, nickel metal hydride. So we'll pop that in and it will do the same again there. There you go, nickel metal hydride on the bottom. And it, it checks the internal resistance. At there, it's going. Whilst you are doing that, you can go through those. So you've got the um, capacity there. Capacity is how much has gone in. So one amp, one, you know, zero, 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 one milliamps gone in there. It hasn't even started on that one yet. That's how much capacity has got being pumped into it. And then your next one is IR, internal resistance. It's not going to give you that straight away in that one. And like I say, you need to make sure these are fuller. It's, it's nickel metal hydrides will give you a slightly disingenuous result on lower capacities. So just bear that in mind. So it's probably around 118 ohms there, which is fine. And then back to current again. In other words, what's happening here? What's the capacity? As in, what's its voltage? So that's up to 140. That's 135. And there's how much it is charging. That is the charging rate. And I think that's sensible for this type of cell. So it automatically de detects the type of cell and how much current to put in. Okay, so we know that those work. And we'll just leave those running for fun. Um, okay, so what else can you do with this? So you can use a lithium ion. Um, now... It'll do between, I think it's 10440s all the way up to 26650s, but I don't really want to go through all of them, but I'll show you this. I mean, if you want to pause this, you can there. So there's your compatible battery. So as you can see, it'll go from 10440s 
all the way up boom 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 all the way up keep going keep going up to the 26 650s and it does the 21 700 as well i do have a 21 700 because they're the long ones there's a there's a flat top 21 700 you see this happens to be i think it's a samsung 40t it is yes pop that in i think it's probably full anyway so they fit with room to spare look look a lot of room to spare on that so if it was a protected one no problem if you had a nice fat 26650, this is an amps plus, uh, 5,300 milliamp hours this one is. So this will go up to 20 amps. Again, flat top, but let's just see. In fact, I'll put it in here because what one of the things you want to know is, is height all right? Well, definitely look. But what about width? There's still space there. There's still a little bit of space. So, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Look, just to prove it. See, the pen goes in there. So what you can get... 26 650s next to each other they've spaced it out nicely i like that and that's because they put this section in here so really good the springs have no problems and when it's charging one thing i just want to point out i'm not getting any coil wine and um, i recently built a computer with a, a terrible power pack and it uh, psu and dm the coil wire and i had to send it back um, i haven't noticed any on this although i will keep testing it and listen and you know because sometimes it's very hard to detect and it'll only do it at certain times but not nothing on this yet okay but i will i will keep updated because that is irritating especially if you're charging at night time and things like that so there you go just to show you that's what happens when you get one that's full stops and it says full there you go isn't going to go any further and then you just take the cell out boom and off you go jobs are good okay so what about the other functions so let's take these out and we'll put in some standard type cells so let me have a look here some standards so 18650s so let's pop these in for a laugh that will pop that one in so what are these what are these other functions so i mean just to prove it look at that i'm not not having to put it in one or eight we'll put it in five just to prove that it does work so it's going to detect the cell there you go right so what are these other functions that you can get okay so your first one is they call it grad but what they mean is grading so if you want to get to that you need to long press the mode button so remember you can go through all these you've got current capacity and internal resistance but if you want to grade it click and hold there grade so what is it doing here so let's have a quick look so if you look at this it says chg and you can see it's going up so charging so the whole point of grading is it allows you to test the, the capacity and health of a cell. So if you bought some cells and you thought, I've got these dead cheap, they're, they're so cheap on eBay, it was three cents and they've got a billion, million, 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 you know, milliamp hours. And, they're, you know, you've seen the cells like that. They're absolute liars. So what you could do is you could pop it in here and grade it. So what it'll do is it'll charge it to its maximum capacity. Then it will discharge at a given rate then it will charge it back up again now because it did that it will tell you how much juice actually went in so in other words it's going to tell you what the actual capacity of the cell is so if it's way off it's either fake or its health is failing so that's just something to bear in mind so we'll leave that just because you, you will see in a moment it will change the discharge and that will go the other direction but i'm not going to sit here for hours and hours and hours doing the time lapse waiting for it to finish and it'll say well, the capacity is you know 2800 milliamp we, we know that and these are decent cells i already know that so that's one of your functions and one of your other functions and i'll just do it over here so don't disturb that one so we'll leave that running in that mode now we can do these independent here so in regards to this one you've got a store mode so if you hold the mode button so remember instead of just holding it quickly you hold it for three seconds and i can't get it to work now why is that there you go done sorry that's my fault so store so what does store mode do well as we've discussed very briefly so that says it's discharging there so as we've discussed very briefly um, you have voltages so you have a cutoff voltage when it's at its lowest and then you have a, it'll be 4.20 voltage at its highest now if you wanted to store those for any period of time there's two arguments the first argument would be well if i'm storing cells that i need to use i want to fully charge them so when i take them out that's great but if you're putting them in long-term storage and you want them to last as long as possible in other words have a longer lifetime you need to take that down to a specific voltage now that can dif differ depending on the cell and the size and things like that but this will take this down to the the best possible voltage for storage in other words the best possible lifetime that you're, the life cycle that you're going to get out of that cell so 
that's a nice feature and you can do it on all of these channels which is great so that's your store you also have your internal resistance so to get that you've got your internal resistance test so we'll turn that off in fact i think you need to off out. yeah you've got to do that otherwise it just it stays in that one so you've got your current capacity and there's your internal resistance now it won't tell you immediately because it needs to it needs to stick some juice in there so that's your ohms resistance level there so pretty decent and it's an added feature that you might want right so i'm going to try and keep this rapid so i will quickly show you this if you want i've done this in 4k so there you go you can pause that and have a little look if you want and then there's the other page other languages are available in this book so if you are from you know france or germany and I almost look Greek, Russian, or whatever that is, and Chinese at the start there. So there it is if you want it. Okay, so let's quickly discuss this. Right, good points and bad points. So all the functions are available on all the slots, unlike previous versions, which is really, really, really good. And, I, and that was one of the things I discussed with them. I said, it's important to do that, otherwise people are just going to get confused or annoyed. You can do 3 amp on any slot. In fact, you can do you know, 3 amp on two slots at once, any random two, but then obviously as that increases, the overall amount of juice you can put in reduces, so it has to reduce them across the board. But I think that's great, and you can put them anywhere. Brilliant, you don't have to think, hang on, which one's that one? Put it in the right one. Excellent, I really like that. If you notice there, the light's slightly dim there. It's got dimming, and you can turn it off entirely if you didn't want to be disturbed at night. XTOR has always worked well for me. I mean, these are covered in dust now. See, that prototype I've used for more than a year, never had a problem with it. That's the one I had before that. I had the non-plus version, which I ended up giving away because I had so many of these things. Um, that still works for family members. I bought smaller ones for family members. I have never had a problem with XTOR. Now, I will, I will admit there was two comments, I think, on my last video where someone said, I got an XTOR and it broke. That's absolutely fine. I expect a percentage of any product line to have issues but XTOR have been excellent and they've been very very sort of helpful whenever I've had any issues uh, I realize I'm a reviewer and that may differ depending on who, who you are but um, I've never had a problem with them replacing anything that didn't work um, when I've had test items and I've said hang on you've sent me the wrong thing here immediately they sorted it out um, and I expect them to be the same and responsive to normal customers so give them a shot anyway and I think it's important in, in regards to put that they've put this 45 watt charger in with these capacities because if they didn't people would stick this into a random type c and say it's rubbish i'm not getting three amps why am i not getting three amps? type c can mean so many different things as we're all known it's a shame so they've put a decent cable in which has worked and i've tested it and it works with power delivery and they've put the adapter in which is great and don't worry it's got the american head perfect no problems with that very 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 happy and that doesn't get that hot even though i've, I've done all eight bays at once cons Cons, it, basically, it's just nitpicking from me and, and not really sensible things. So in regards cons, I would like a bigger screen because if you go back through all these iterations, the screen's never changed. They work fine and they're, f they're absolutely fine. I'm just greedy, though. I'd like a little bit of a bigger screen uh, with, like, a graph or something. That would be quite cool. Um, I don't know. And maybe put the channel number uh, when you plug it in so you can quickly... Because when, when you've got all of them done, you're like, which one's that again? That's one, two, three, four. You end up counting... I think maybe he's put the channel number. So bigger screen with the channel number above which one is giving you the stats. I think that would be quite cool. And I'm being greedy again. I would like a 9 volt on the top here. The, the space for it here, um, you could have put a 9 volt or somewhere here. Because obviously I do use some uh, lithium ion rechargeable 9 volters. So that would be nice. Because I do have a charger not now. But it would be just nice to have one. You could just Even if it was just one thing. So I use these in smoke detectors and all sorts of things. So there's a little wish list thing. And if I'm being greedy. I would also like a Bluetooth app to go with this. But then you're going to increase the price. Or have a pro have this. Then have a pro version. With the extra 9 volt there. And a slightly bigger screen. And a Bluetooth app. Or something where you could sit on your phone. Set these away. Go downstairs. Play on the Xbox. And oh look it says that one's nice. They're charged. Right I'll go up and turn that off. I think that would be pretty cool and something they may want to consider so i need to give this a mark out of 10 i've tried to keep this under 20 minutes i'm rushing here as best i can so you've got all these features and all the slots three amps on two any two random it'll do all of them at one amp I've, I, I trust xstar everything i've got from xstar has been brilliant i've got this you know this pocket charger has has been everywhere look at the look at the bashes on this it's been camping and everything still works a treat i've got no problems with xstar quality wise um i just want a slightly bigger screen but that's nitpicking so i'm going to have to give this 9.5 
I can't give it anything else. I'm extremely impressed with this. I mean, yeah, you could maybe add a fan under here to cool things down, but again, you're just making it bigger and you're just increasing the price. And I think this is great. Maybe do a pro version and add a fan and a bigger, I'm, I'm getting carried away here. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Any questions, stick them down below, but 9.5, well done, XTAR. Brilliant job, well done. Whee!